In this tutorial, we will cover the basic steps needed to set up relens within Scratch from Assimilate when the input and output have different resolutions. In this example, we will start with GoPro fisheye footage with a resolution of 2704 by 2028, and our final output will be rectilinear 1280 by 720 footage. We will use the Relens Superfish plugin for this example. For more information on how to use the Superfish plugin, please watch the Relens DFish and Superfish tutorial where you will see more detailed instructions and examples. We will start by entering Scratch and creating a project. We select Create New to create a new project and enter the project name and we select Create. Next, we can modify the project paths if needed and set the image format settings to the desired output resolution and frame rate, and we select Close. In order to get the project we just created, we select the project and select Enter Project. Now we will load a clip and create a filler node. This is how we set up our project if the input and output have different resolutions. If they have the same resolution, we can skip the filler node step and add the plugin directly to the input footage. We will start by selecting Load Clips under Media and select the GoPro fisheye footage and select Open. We can deposit the clip node in the first slot. Next, we select Filler and choose Black. We deposit the filler node in the first slot above our GoPro fisheye footage. Without selecting either node, Note, it's important that we do not have either node selected for this step. Right-click anywhere and select Editor. Now, in the Versions tab on the right side, you can see both nodes. We will select the Clip node and note the out value under Source. We are referring to the length of the clip. Now we select the Filler node and set the out value to be the same as the clip. We right click anywhere and select Matrix and select the Media button. We can verify that the filler node's width and height are the desired output resolution and frame rate, which should also be the same as the project. Okay, now the last step is to create the plugin. With the filler node still selected in Versions, we can select the Color Frame button. The Effects button should be enabled now, so we'll select it and we'll see the effects. We can select Relens Superfish by double clicking to apply or select Apply Selection. The plugin parameters should be visible now and we can select the inputs on the left. We select Get Color Source tab in the center area and drag our clip node from versions into the Get Color Source area to connect it. At this point, we can verify that the plugin is correctly set up with the filler node and the clip as inputs by clicking on the sources and clicking on the hierarchy drawing just above it. This shows you a hierarchical view of the plugin where you should see the clip and the filler node as its inputs. Now we select the Relens Superfish button again and set the parameters as desired. Since this tutorial covers the steps needed to add Superfish or any of our other plugins to a clip in Scratch, you can watch one of our basic tutorials for further information on actually using the plugin.